Hello and welcome to Top Stories on Viewer Television. I am Jay Malik. While the spread of the novel coronavirus disease in Nigeria continues to record significant increases, as the latest statistics provided by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control Review, Nigeria has 212,713 confirmed cases. Now, 86 new confirmed cases are recorded in Nigeria. To date, 212,713 cases have been confirmed, 204,379 have been discharged, and 2,906 states have been recorded in 36 states and the federal capital. Territory. Now, no fewer than 221 completed primary health care centers across 31 states have yet to start operations. This is as the federal government also revealed for the three others are currently under construction. The information was contained in a document obtained by a newsman from the Health Facilities Registry of the Federal Ministry of Health. Now, the federal government had in 2017 inaugurated a revitalization program for primary health care facilities across the country, expressing its commitment to refurbishing 10,000 PHCs nationwide with at least one center in each of the nation's 109 senatorial districts. It, an, an analysis of the document by newsman revealed that why 221 facilities have been completed, they are yet to start operations. Out of the 31 state affected, Baruno State has the highest number of completed PHCs that have not started operations with 94 of such facilities. Bauch and Tarawa State have 14 of such facilities each. The Global Fund has rejected a request by the Federal Ministry of Health for a grant worth 5,243,000 for travels. The organization said the reason for the request could not be justified. This position was contained in a letter signed by the Global Fund Division Head Grant Management Office, Mark Eldon Andington. The letter, which was exclusively obtained by newsmen, was dated August 16, 2021, and addressed to the Minister of Health, Dr. Zage Hinari. Newsmen had reported that the federal government, through the Ministry of Health and NSCA, had submitted a request to the Global Fund under the COVID-19 Response Mechanism Program. The request was approved on August 16, 2021, and a sum of 472.57 million naira was allocated for COVID-19 response, which was to be implemented before the end of 2023. However, while making requests for additional funds for COVID-19 response in Nigeria, the Ministry of Health had also solicited for the sum of $5.24 million for travels. However, the fund dismissed the request, claiming it could not be justified. Still on COVID-19, Nigerians with cases of missing COVID-19 vaccination cards are expected to produce court affidavit and police reports before they get replacement. This was contained in a document published by the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency and made available to newsmen. Nigeria commenced the first phase COVID-19 vaccination in March 2021. All citizens who get vaccinated are given vaccination cards at point of vaccination. The card serves as proof of vaccination. The the federal government has already declared its intention to make vaccination mandatory for civil servants and others who may want to assess government offices. Such people will be required to present their vaccination cards at the point of entry. And lastly, no fewer than 150 and personnel of the Nigerian Correctional Service are currently undergoing training at the military formation in Kanto Garao, Niger State. It was gathered that the training was part of effort to curtail the incessant attacks on correctional facilities in the country. There have been cases of attack on correctional facilities in the country lately. On October 22nd, a facility in Abulungo area of Oyo State was attacked by gunmen. The media advisor to the Minister of Interior, Sula Fasho, said numbers of personnel being trained might increase, adding that the 150 was an immediate response. And that's all we can take on top stories. Just stay tuned for the rest of our programs. Many thanks for watching.